students so after completing the concept of composite function now let's start with a problem which is based on composite function so here in this first problem i am gonna take one composite function and we are gonna find out the partial derivative of composite function so here z is sine inverse x minus y and the value of x is 3t and the value of y is 4t cube now guys here we can easily see that z is a function of x and y so it is given here then x and y both are the function of t so this type of function is called as composite function so we can easily say that z is a function of t now whenever we have a composite function to get the solution of such type of question we follow the tree diagram because by using the tree diagram it becomes very easier to solve the problem so let's start so in tree diagram we will see the dependency between the different variables so here since z is a function of x and y here i'll say or here i'll write z which is function of x and y then x is a function of t so here i'll write t and y is also a function of t so this has become the tree diagram for the given function now based on this let's see so guys in the previous video i told you that this z is called as dependent variable because it is dependent on x y and indirectly on t then t is called as independent variable because this is the last level of the tree diagram so these variables are not dependent on anyone and x and y are called as intermediate variable and i told you that whenever we want to find out the partial differentiation we find the relationship between dependent and independent variable and we take the help of intermediate variable so here we will find between z and t but let's see the question what is being asked so here the question is prove that dz by dt now guys you must be thinking why it is dz by dt because even though z is a function of x and y but x is a function of t y is a function of t now if we see z then z is a function of t it means even if we try to find out the partial differentiation of z with respect to t still we will get the complete differentiation because guys let me tell you that whenever we find out the partial differentiation that time we must have at least two variables so that we can take differentiation with respect to one variable and we can keep other variable as constant so here since z is a function of only one variable we will get the complete differentiation only so now i want to find out dz by dt so in the previous video i told you the method still we'll revise it here so whenever we want to find out some partial differentiation or complete differentiation using tree diagram what we do we go from that dependent variable to independent variable so from z to t there are two ways so first path is z to x x to t and the second one is z to y and y to t so we'll write it down so here we will say dz by dt is given by now i'll find dz by dx but guys since we have y also so here i'll find out del x i mean del z by del x so why i'm getting the partial differentiation because when i'll find del z by del x that time i'll treat this y as constant next we'll get dx by dt now guys you can observe here once again that x is a function of only one variable that is why here we have to get the complete differentiation next plus so here we are finished with the one path so second path is this so again del z by del y into dy by dt so guys this is the formula of dz by dt now we'll find out the different values we'll put the values and we'll get the answer so let's start so first of all let's find out the value of del z by del x and for that we'll differentiate this z with respect to x partially so here i'll write therefore del z by del x equal to so derivative of sine inverse is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x minus y the whole square into 
the derivative of this x minus y with respect to x partially so derivative of x is 1 and for derivative of y will get 0 because y is not a variable of differentiation so we'll treat this y as a constant so 1 minus 0 will be 1 so i'll not write it down next we'll find out del z by del y because this value is required in the second term so for that again we'll differentiate z with respect to y partially so here we'll get it's 1 upon square root of 1 minus x minus y the whole square into derivative of this part with respect to y and this time we'll get here 0 and here we'll get 1 but 0 minus 1 is negative 1 so we'll get negative 1 over here now similarly we'll find out the value of dx by dt so dx by dt is nothing but differentiation of x with respect to t so here we will get value as 3 similarly we'll find out dy by dt so dy by dt will get it as 12 t square so as i'm assuming that you know the formula of differentiation because i'm using those formula if you are uh, not good with the formula of derivatives then i would suggest that you go on our channel ekida and there we have covered a chapter called as differentiation you go there revise the formula and then you can carry forward with the questions so now we got all four values now it's time to substitute these four values here in the formula so here we'll say therefore dz by dt is equal to so here we have del z by del x which has this value i'll put that value and again with that we have dx by dt where dx by dt is 3 so 3 into this will be we have del z by del y into dy by dt so this into this so this is a negative term into 12 t square will be negative 12 t square upon square root of now guys here we can take a common denominator because denominator is same and this is the value of dz by dt but guys hold on if you are thinking this is the answer then you're wrong because what we want in the answer is 3 upon uh, square root of 1 minus t square so guys we have to bring this answer so now it's just a, a part of simplification so we'll do some adjustments and we'll get the answer so as it is asked that in the denominator we want square root of 1 minus t square what i'll do is i'll convert all this term that is x and y in terms of t and for that i'll take the help of the values of x and y so x is 3t y is 4t cube i'll put these values over here and then we'll simplify so let's see what we get so here we'll get 3 minus Now the value of x is 3t minus value of y is 4t cube the whole square. Now guys let's expand this so we will get So here we will apply the formula of a minus b the whole square and after applying the formula we will apply the negative sign to each and every term. So uh, the formula for this is a square minus 2ab plus b square. So a square will be 9t square but since we have negative sign outside that will become negative 9t square. Then minus 2ab. So it will be negative 2 into this into this so that is 12 t raised to 4 and we have minus 2 also so 12 into minus 2 that minus 24 t raised to 4 and guys since we have negative sign outside it will become plus 
so plus 24 e raised to 4 and now last term is b square so this will become 16 t raised to 6 but we have negative sign so that will be negative 16 t raised to 6 now uh, here we got the expansion of denominator also now guys let's see what we want in the answer so you can observe here that in numerator we want only 3 and in denominator we want a root of 1 minus t square whereas here we are getting t to the power 6 now guys to get this answer i'll tell you a hint how to get that answer so since i want 3 in the numerator i don't want the other terms so what i'll do is from numerator i will take 3 common so by doing that here we will get 3 into 1 minus 4 t square so i've taken 3 common from the numerator now guys since i want only 3 in the numerator here as it is given in the answer what i have to do is i have to eliminate this 1 minus 40 square from the numerator and for that i should bring this 1 minus 40 square term in the denominator because if i get this term in the denominator then only we can cancel the term from numerator and denominator and we can get the answer so guys what i'll do is i will try to bring this 1 minus 40 square in the denominator so let's start so inside the square root i will write different terms now how i'll write the terms so guys as you can see that we have a square root and i should get this 1 minus 40 square in the denominator so what i'll do is i will try to bring 1 minus 40 square the whole square in the denominator so that that square and square root will get cancelled and i will get 1 minus 40 square in the denominator so for that we'll find out what is 1, one minus 40 square the whole square so 1 minus 40 square the whole square is nothing but 1 minus 2 ab so minus 8 t square plus b square that is 16 t to the power 4 so guys if i write these three terms over here then that is nothing but 1 minus 40 square the whole square and then we can cancel it with the square root so let's do that so first of all i'll write down these three terms as it is so that is 1 minus 8 t square plus 16 t to the power 4. now as we are writing these three terms so to get this 1 minus 40 square the whole square if we check the denominator we have to adjust the other terms so here we got one which is which was already there in the denominator then we have negative 80 square but here in the denominator we had minus 90 square so 1 t square is missing so here i'll write negative t square so that this will become negative 80 square negative t square that is negative 90 square next 16 t to the power 4 here i have 24 so i have to write plus 8 t to the power 4 so that this 16 and this 8 will become 24 and the last term that is negative 16 t to the power 6 so guys here we got another three terms but if you observe carefully then these three terms again represent the same formula how so for that reason take negative t square common from the denominator so if i take negative t square common from these three terms here I'll get 1 because negative t square is outside here if negative t square is outside I'll get negative 8 t square which is this term and if I take negative t square common from this term I'll get positive 16 t raised to 4 that is this term so guys again we are getting this uh, given formula so let's write it down and then let's do the simplification So now guys, I have written the formula directly.
now what we'll do is we will take this bracket common from two terms so here i have two terms this is first term and this is the second term from these two terms i can take this 1 minus 40 square the whole square common so here we'll get 3 into 1 minus 40 square as it is now if i take this 1 minus 40 square the whole square common then here we'll get root of 1 minus 40 square the whole square and from here we'll get only 1 and from here we'll get negative t square now guys if i take a square root then the square and square root will be cancelled we will get 1 minus 40 square and that will be cancelled with this 1 minus 40 square so from numerator we will get just 3 and from denominator we'll get root of 1 minus t square and guys you can see that i got the same value which is asked in the question so we have proved that the value of dz by dt is 3 upon square root of 1 minus t square so i'm sure that you understood whatever i taught you now so we'll uh, do one more numerical on composite function so keep watching the next video because there are there I'm going to cover one more numerical on composite function. Thank you very much.